It's one o'clock, I'm Kelsey Pennell. As the rest of the world reacted to Colonel Gaddafi's death, students at Staffordshire University were given a unique insight into events in Libya. The BBC security correspondent Frank Gardner spoke to the university's budding journalists. It's better late than never, eh? I'm really sorry about this. Um, some guy called Gaddafi has... Um you know, got in the way of things today, and um, it just shows how incredibly important I am that I'm not there, that I'm here. So we're just in phase one, I think, at the moment, and it's ultimately, I think, it's a good thing because it's it's empowering people. Um, it's not for us to say to them, mm, "Yes, you must have an exact Western-style democracy." You know, a hundred years ago, women didn't have the vote in Britain. Um, so there are countries in Europe where they got the vote a lot more recently than that. So it's not for us to lecture them how to do it, but I think you know, they'll find the right way, I hope. Hanley Park has been granted an indefinite alcohol licence despite nearly 500 residents signing a petition against it. The park is the largest in Stoke-on-Trent and is known as a drinking hotspot. However, the council have explained that the licence is to control alcohol consumption at major events and is not in place to encourage drinking in the park. I'm Kelsey Pennell. I'll be back in an hour.